Today I'm going to give you five tips for entering a cosplay competition. Welcome back to another Kirillis Ketchup. It is nearly con season again, which means it's cosplay competition season again. And competitions for cosplay can span from anything from a general war con, talk about your costume, right through to the advanced ones, which are either craftsmanship or skit based competitions, or a mixture of the two. So today I'm going to give you five tips which I think are important for anyone who is going to enter a cosplay competition. Now to give you a bit of context, I've been on both sides of this. I've been an entrant and I've been a judge. Actually, I've got an idea. This might help. That should help things. Tip number one, be confident. Even though you might be nervous, this is your time to shine. Even if it's for a three second walk on pose and walk off, own those three seconds. And look, if you can't feel confident about yourself, get your confidence from your cosplay, whether it be from your character or from what you've crafted. Tip number two, talk to the judges. Honestly, we're not scary. If there's any prejudging at all, Tell us about what materials you used, how long it took you to make a specific item, what techniques you used, what new skills did you learn? We want to hear this from you. If you don't say anything or it's limited, judges will start to try and start a conversation with you. But what we bring up or what we see may not be the best parts of your costume. So look, beat us to it and tell us about it. At the end of the day, no one is going to toot your trumpet for you. Only you can do that for yourself. Tip number three, good sportsmanship. Following on from the last point, it is good to be confident and proud of what you've achieved, but don't go over the top. Don't start comparing yourself to other cosplayers within the competition. And what I mean by this is that it can go one of two ways. It can go to, well, I've got this in the bag, or your cosplay is so much better than mine. Either one of these comments or these vibes puts the other party feeling very awkward. And if we see it, we may mark you down. Instead, stay positive and friendly and enthusiastic. Say things like, I really love that embroidery that you put on your bodice. Or that weathering that you put on the armor. Oh my God, amazing. And look, if it all gets too much, take a deep breath, go outside if you can, Take another deep breath, and then when you're ready, don't take too long, because you don't want to annoy the organizers, come back into the competition. Tip number four, keep it short and sharp. So when on stage, keep it short and sharp. I'm not saying that when the host asks you a question to answer with a one word answer, but what I'm saying is that keep your answer to 25 words or less, please. And if you're doing a skit, great. Keep to the guidelines of the competition, and if there aren't any, as a bit of a guider, keep it to two minutes or less. An 18 minute skit does not place. Never. Ever. And tip number five, be prepared. Before all this starts, make sure that you plan out your cosplay. You make sure that it gets done in time. You enter the competition with lots of time to spare. And when it comes to the day, make sure you're at the location that the cosplay is, competition is happening or the pre-judging at least 10 minutes before you're due. And be in full costume. <sighs> and as a bit of a bonus tip, remember to have fun. I know it sounds cliche, but Hey, competitions for cosplay can be stressful times. And if we forget to have fun, it can lead to a negative experience. I'm guilty of this. I let my competitive side get the better of me. And because of that, I had a negative experience and it wrecked my entire con weekend. But hey, self-reflection is important. And now I'll remember never to forget to have a good time. So to recap, my five tips for entering a cosplay competition is number one, be confident. Number two, talk to the judges. Number three, show good sportsmanship. Number four, keep it short and sharp. Number five, be prepared. And as a bonus tip, remember to have fun. 
And there you go, they are my five tips for entering a cosplay competition. Good luck with entering your next competition and if you've got any questions, feel free to comment them below. Anyway, I hope to see you in the next video of Catch Up With Curly. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you then. Bye.